Hey guys, so if you're a successful agent in Dubai at the present time and the money's rolling in in big numbers, I've got some very important news for you. This little thing that you need to pay attention to because it is the most important thing for you going forward in this business as a career, whether you're doing real estate in Dubai or anywhere else globally. Show real fast. All right guys, welcome back. Look, if you're a successful agent in Dubai or anywhere else in the world and the money's rolling in and the times are good, generally speaking, the market's on an up and up. So, you know, even those people who've been on the sidelines for a long time are starting to come in to purchase property, which means that if you were already a successful agent, you've got the pick of buyers and sellers generally to work from. And if you're a new agent, you pretty much don't have to, well, you still have to allow and do the necessary efforting and the focusing for the money to come in so you can close the deals. But generally speaking, it might be easier for you. I know it's easier for us at the moment, tons and tons easier because, you know, uh, property, whether in Dubai, Toronto, London, Paris is the next big thing. Great. So you're an agent who's already rolling the money in, enjoying the, the ups and not the ups and downs, but enjoying problem solving, enjoying the sales process, enjoying closing deals on a daily basis. I want you to pay attention to the most important thing, which is actually the first most important thing that you should be paying attention to. And it is the biggest, I correct myself, not the smallest or the small, small thing, but it's the biggest thing. And that is none other than you. You are the most important part in the process. Now, yes, if you're in real estate, people are gonna tell you like, you know, the market's pushed by sellers, the market's pushed by buyers, or the global economy leads the market, or the local economy, or the infrastructure of the city you're in, you know? So I know real estate agents who jump from cities and even countries, right? The people who were practicing real estate in Dubai went to Cyprus, or people who were practicing real estate in the UK came to Dubai to practice real estate. What I wanna tell you that, you know, cities change, right? Great cities become greater. Sometimes average cities become great. And sometimes good cities become not so great, right? Markets change. Global economies go up and down. Regional economies go up and down. And all of this, you don't have a lot of control over. As an agent, the one person, the one person or the one thing that you have the most control over is you. So while the market's good, or regardless if the market's good or not, you need to focus on one thing, which is the brand. And that brand is you. You need to develop yourself in a brand, whether it's a specific area that you're working in, whether it's a by specific area, I mean location, right? So if in New York City, there are boroughs and stuff like that. In Dubai, there are, uh, again, master developments. And then the UK, everybody, uh, Toronto, all these places have specific areas. So whether it's a specific area you're working in or whether it's a specific category. So maybe you're a luxury broker, a commercial broker, so on and so forth. Whichever category you are in, you want to absolutely blow up in the nicest sense of the word, okay? They'll really blow up. But you want to blow up your brand, your name so that the first thing that a person thinks about in that category when it comes to real estate you're the person that comes to mind right how do you go about building your brand this video doesn't talk about that maybe we make some videos in the future on that but i'll give you some quick examples okay go check out and follow ryan sirhan okay he's a broker in new york does fairly well for himself and you know is fairly well known as a real estate broker of some record right of some uh, substance right and he's created a brand in and of himself right um so if if, if like if i was uh, or when I am buying luxury in New York City, like, you know, an $80 million penthouse, I would definitely reach out to him, right? Because he would come to mind. Right? You'd be like, okay, at least reach out to him, perhaps even sign up with him exclusively to work with him because I know, you know, he might get me access. But, you know, even if he performs and delivers value to me is a secondary subject. The main thing is, look, I would recognize to reach out to him, right? Similarly, wherever you're working, you should be a brand in and of itself so that the people in that area, when they wanna buy there, 
when they want to buy in that category, when they want to buy in that city, the first name that comes to mind is yours. You are a brand that delivers honesty, competence, trust in an ethical way and gets them results when it comes to real estate, buying, selling, investing, so on and so forth. So think about it, you know, there's tons of resources available on YouTube. While the money's rolling in, that's great. Markets go up, sometimes go up further, sometimes they come down. Who cares? You are the main variable in this entire equation that makes it success for a long time to come. So work on yourself and develop a plan to build your brand. Ciao for now. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. My name is Fahad Daud. I've been doing this for 15 plus years. I started in 2006 in Toronto, Canada and since 2007, I've been practicing real estate in Dubai. If you want to work with me, reach out. There's a forum and a mobile number that you can reach out to be able to work with me. I do do paid consulting to help you with my services. My team and myself are available. If you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends so that they may be able to benefit from the advice given here. My role, my goal is to invest in your life and your future. Thanks for watching.